Welcome to Easy Insight Shorts. This is the video series of our well-written academic literature summaries. This week, we're talking about monkeys, social hierarchy, and cocaine. What an absurd combination. So let's see what it's all about. Drugs. There are many around. Some bring you up, some down. Some fix you, but some make things worse. What they all have in common, though, is they'll affect your body in some capacity if you ingest them. The one we're going to focus on today is cocaine. Popularised in the 1980s as a party drug, it has a profound impact on the neurotransmitter dopamine. Now, dopamine is the chemical in our brains that's linked with how we feel pleasure. It forms a big part of our ability to think and plan, so ingesting cocaine can perhaps obviously have a significant effect on how we feel. But what does this have to do with monkeys? Well, researchers wanted to understand the relationship between dopamine and social hierarchy, so they took monkeys in groups of four and caged them, they then scanned their brains to understand dopamine levels and observed their standing in the social hierarchy. It was found that more dominant monkeys who sit at the top of the social hierarchy have higher levels of dopamine. Conversely, those at the bottom end of the social hierarchy, subordinate monkeys, have much lower levels of concentrations of dopamine. Now this is where things get interesting. Researchers decided to conduct an experiment. They wanted to see what effects social standing would have on cocaine use. To do this, they allowed the monkeys to self-administer cocaine by linking them up to a catheter and giving them an infusion pump. Pressing the pump would issue the monkeys with an immediate shot of cocaine-infused saline solution. Yep, you heard that right. They let monkeys inject cocaine into themselves. Here are the findings, and they vary for subordinate and dominant monkeys. First, during these sessions, subordinate monkeys had significantly higher and increasing intakes of cocaine. Second, subordinate monkeys also exhibited a greater day-on-day -day increase in the amount of cocaine they administered, suggestive of an addiction. Now here's from some food for thought. This study shines light on two things. First, those with a low ranking within their social hierarchy tend to produce lower levels of dopamine. Second, this same demographic exhibits greater vulnerability and likelihood of being addicted to dopamine-enhancing cocaine. So question, if these findings extend to humans, what implications could they have on inequality and social mobility?